At the beginning of the play, we find two teenagers in a uh, summer camp on Long Island called Camp Siegfried. Um, and uh, they both come from very different walks of life, but they meet at the very beginning of summer and a relationship ensues from there. It wrapped into a, into a their love story is um, something very complicated politically and scary and it's how they negotiate that side of things alongside the thrill of, of, of falling in love and I'm in shorts which is also very important. And I've dyed my hair for the job. So. Yeah, I think people should be warned because my knees are on display. Whenever I allow myself to stop and look outside of myself I'm sort of in shock and overwhelmed and obviously deeply grateful that I get to be a part of this building in some kind of way because uh, it's um, it's a very important theatre to both of us um, growing up seeing plays here and having watching very informative performances and, and productions here and to know that somehow I'm a part of it now I have moments of pure elation then shock then feel paralyzed and then I feel dread and then I'm back to elation again so it's kind of it's been amazing um, when it was sent to me and someone said that they would do it they wanted to do it as a sort of pledge as a pledge to young um, creatives uh, both to come and see it and to us as young people and, and, and to Katie and to Bess whose work hasn't had a, an introduction over here I don't think um, yeah. She does now. She does now, hopefully. Um, I, I, and I thought, actually, that's, that's a really amazing thing to come out of the last year and to make a pledge to young theatre makers, new voices, um, enabling younger people to come and see it through a, 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 an array of sort of um, ticket opportunities and affordable seats. It, it's just been everything I sort of stand for and, and want. I can really only speak personally, but I always feel that the future always feels slightly... It could go either way and it's... Um, we have very little control of, of it and you encountered two people just before the Second World War and they have no idea what's about to happen, but yet they're being fed this ideology and this... this very extreme way of thinking that within their bubble it's so easy to to believe in and to champion even though um, a modern day audience now would be shocked to hear it but actually it's conversations that aren't too far away from very extreme way of thinking that we hear on the internet and I just rem I remember getting getting the script and um, sort of being, we talked about this, being, being a bit alarmed, a bit scared by quite how brave it was politically. A side of things we haven't seen before and how, how scarily easy it is to draw those parallels, isn't mm -hmm. it? And thank goodness I like this guy. <laughs> He's really fun to work with. The feeling's not mutual, obviously. No, but no, um, no. yeah, it's it's. No. I, I look forward to just pretend for a second. Sorry, sorry, please. Don't. Um, f um, for it, <laughs> I look forward to doing the play every evening because I know it's going to be the play, but there's there's always an element of play. And it's quite playful, so I've loved it. Yeah. Like, I've, it took me a while to warm to um, okay, Rachel. My name's Patsy. Patsy. Oh. It took me a while to warm to Patsy. <laughs> um, 